There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, two. Oh, greedy. <laughs> guys my name is Aaron Casada. I'm gonna be taking you for a base behind the scenes look here at what goes on at these rallies so uh, three plane rides uh, about 30 some hours in travel and we finally made it to Brazil for the Sertos rally thing that's kind of been a little gnarly is like the weather has been either super hot nice and bright and sunny or it'll in five minutes it'll start downpouring and rain for 15 20 minutes and then clear back up so weather's kind of been crazy all right so this is our pit set up at the first bivouac here and right now the team is getting the car all ready um casey brings a lot of his own parts shocks tires wheels stuff like that uh, for his car, just for his personal preferences. Johnny, day one with the car, bud. How's it going? We're almost there. It's gonna be uh, buttoning up the final stuff and then uh, go tack it, or what do you call it? Scrutineering. Scrutineer it, and then uh, <laughs> come, come back and just finalize everything. Get the car loaded with the weight, set the ride height, get the belts adjusted, load all the stuff, tools, and. Any, any main differences between this car and what he races back at home? Nope, nothing. It's the same, just basically Bones, stock car. Stock unit. Stock, stock unit. I mean, other than the safety equipment, it's got stock tires and wheels. I mean, just about as stock as you can get. So, Sertos Rally Cribs. Sertos Rally Cribs. We, uh, we got a motor home. It's a huge upgrade. We're not in uh, Saudi and we don't have a 15 footer, so. Okay, so when you're living in this thing for like two weeks, what are the, what's like key? What like key? You're not, not that you're a prima donna or anything, but like what's essential I'm for these type of races? Okay, air condition and heater. Boom, check. Air, air condition, uh, beds for all the guys that are sleeping in the RV, meaning no floors and no couches. Bed and bed, bed in the back. Yep, big old room in the back. Okay, one thing that we had in Saudi and in Peru Oh, it's nice and cold back. Oh, uh, your oh, own AC on back here? I just turned it on. Just Woo! found out. TV. But one of the biggest things that we've never had for any rally is normally it's a shower, pooper, sink, one, you know, three by three cube. Three in one. It's it. You'd like sit down, brush your teeth, and take a shower. You could literally be showering while taking a poop. Yeah. So now we have a nice shower. So this is big 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 upgrade well traveling to other countries you never know what their food's that, gonna be there so. we go and we're on bivouac so for me pop tarts uh like natural valley biscuits peanut butter and jelly these are my this is my jam right here it's basically chicken salad kit cracker chicken salad it's the basic that's, no, that's pretty basic you're i got about one of those a day i do a cup of noodles mac and cheese um lots of just snacks things that i can eat so i don't just in case bivac food just you know stomach ache that's the biggest thing that everyone doesn't realize that it's, it's eight days in a row you get a stomach ache on day three look you're gonna ruin day four and five so you, microwave is crucial gotta have a microwave so around that we're gonna uh, enjoy it and uh, it's humid outside but the ac is blowing cold and uh yeah we just uh we like to have our own compound. This is our getaway from everything. We come in here, relax. Comfort's key. Comfort's key. Gotta be comfortable with what's going on. Shakedown day. So uh, right now, putting the suits on for the first time and uh, gonna go drive the car for the first time. So my shocks, my tires, and my wheels are stuck in, at custom. So basically, uh, the country of Brazil got backlogged with work and uh, they literally shut all uh, all import from the United States for two weeks. So my stuff was supposed to be here 10 days ago and it actually might get out today. So it's, uh, yeah, so we're driving stock wheels, stock tires and a borrowed set of fog shocks. And um, so it goes, get a good shakedown, good idea of what we need to change for tomorrow and uh, 
you know, enjoy what we can. So far, it's really weird. Everybody's telling us to enjoy the rally because it's so beautiful, but obviously we want to go do good. So let's uh, have some fun and see what we can get ourselves into. Yeah. Hey, let's okay, hold on. So brand new freshy helmet. Do you give it the drop? The superstitious drop, or do you keep it keep it clean? I'm a believer, and if you don't believe in that shit, it won't happen to you. So <laughs> <laughs> let's check out that freshy, dude. Oh man! So Sean is South African, so we got half the South African flags, half the American flag. Woo! Gangster. All right, so Casey and Sean are about to go shake this thing down. Um, there is like a, I think they said about a five or seven kilometer um, area where they can go and shake the car down and make adjustments and um, they're only given I think a, a short window where the UTVs can be on the course for shakedown so they're gonna go take advantage of the time right now to go get familiar with the car make any adjustments um, to the car and suspension wise handling wise all that good stuff so That didn't take very long. That was like that was only four Ks. Four, yeah. four K. Two miles. For all straight, like straight graded, no real bumps or anything. A no. little bit. It's more so because it's so muddy. Yeah. And everybody's been through it, so it's just making like ruts everywhere. But... Okay, never drove the car. Initial first thought. Dude, it's actually not bad. Literally, dude, it freaking feels good. It's fun. It's good. It feels freaking fun. It's a little warm in here though. <laughs> A little muggy? <laughs> All right, Johnny. So how good does it feel when Hefe comes back and he's not mother everybody? Dude. <laughs> there goes all that stress. You, you feeling instantly, good right now? Dude. It literally instantly. We don't have to tear the whole thing down and okay, rebuild it tonight? Cool. Dude. <laughs> Suspension obviously didn't show up, no tires, no wheels yet, but I guess they're now in Brazil in a way they're getting transported from one trucking company to another to get down here. So it's kind of a, it's, it's a huge ordeal. So they're, they're doing what they can, but honestly, stock tires, stock wheels, and uh, we got a loaner set of uh, fog shocks that aren't bad. And around that, dude, Sean and I were clicking. We were having a great time. The sand is like, I don't know, it's like this perfect motocross sand. Like if you're like, I want the best dirt ever to ride dirt bikes on, we drove on it today. And it's like, sounds like that's, there's hundreds of miles of it. So I'm ready for qualifying or uh, um, tomorrow morning. It's close, short 11 kilometers. So it's just a, a sprint and then we're done. All right, so today is Friday. We got the prologue today. The prologue again is the uh, qualifying where you're gonna start. Uh, I think there's about 100 UTVs uh, racing, which is like the largest class, it's pretty gnarly.
prologue is done. Looks like we're 25th at a 90. Uh, it was good. Uh, we started uh, 80th up the line, so a little rutted up out there, but overall, good. It was fun. Um, obviously, the car is stock and doing good. I think we're going to have a lot of fun, so days are going to get long. Uh, I think the first tomorrow is like 250K, so I think over 400 total. So I think uh, now the journey of rally begins, so let's keep pushing and have this Razor uh, moving forward. Isso, muito bem, espetacular. What are we doing up there, dude? Uh, team photo, I guess. I don't really know. It's chaos. We're here, though. We don't know what's going on because no one speaks English. I can barely see you in there, dude. I know. Obviously, I'm not tall. Número 278, Casey Curry, Sean Lexon. Tom the whole time was like, drive fast, you're driving so slow. I was like, dude, I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Look at this, man. I'm Casey Curry. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here. Watch more videos here. Thank you guys.